The world of costume design isn't just concerned with which blouse or which shirt goes with which jacket. There's quite a lot more to it than that. And our next presenter owes a lot to the skill of the costume designer. Yes, I don't think I'd better keep him waiting, actually. And on this royal occasion, please welcome His Noble Majesty, King Aslan of Narnia. Your Majesty, you're looking wonderful again tonight. Uh, uh, yes, yes, cool, cool down. I must admit that I, please, I was very nervous, Your please Majesty. Please call me Aslan. Uh, Aslan. I must admit, though, Aslan, I was very, very nervous when I knew that I had to interview you tonight. Oh, I have a soul. I may look fierce, but deep down, I'm just a pussy cat. Oh. I'm warming to you, really. I'm really warming to you. Now then, before we hear who the winner is in this category, here are the nominations for television costume design. David Beaton for Beatrix, the early life of Beatrix Potter. Dinah Collin for Portrait of a Marriage. Les Lansdowne for Oranges and Not the Only Fruit and Linda Mattock and Sharon Lewis for Agatha Christie's Poirot. Now, would you like to open the envelope? Oh. Hmm. I'd find that rather difficult. Besides, I don't have to open it myself. I have special claws in my contract. <laughs> Right. Shall I help you then, okay? Here we go. Right. For now then. Can you read it? It's short sighted. Um, the winner in the category of television costume design is um, Dinah Collin for Portrait of a Man. Tonight's second award for Portrait of a Marriage, this time to Dinah Collin for her work in creating a totally authentic period feel for the aristocratic characters who populate this production. Well, Dinah's a bit of an aristocrat herself in the world of costume design, with experience in film and theatre as well as television. The best part about her job, well, she says it's meeting fantastic people all the time. Here's a meeting for her to remember for many years to come. <laughs> 